Hello, this is Jeff, and welcome to lecture number four in a series of lectures on using the lesson tool in Moodle. If you're accessing this video via the lesson on the UTP Moodle, then you are here. So here is my main page for editing this lesson. And at this point, I have built all of these pages, oops, and these ones too, uh, except that this one, I'll have to update the video link once I've finished recording this video that you're watching right now. Uh, however, there are no correct links. So now it's time for me to go through and attach these all together in the way they need to be attached. So first I'm going to go in and make these links from the main menu to the beginnings of lectures one, two, three, and four. So here we go. I'm going to edit the main menu and I'm going to expand all so that I can see all the links. And so here we go. Why lessons is going to jump to lecture one, why lessons. And note that it's useful to give your pages informative names so that you can find them in this list, right? The basic setup is going to link to lecture two basic setup and so on. And that's now all of those links. So next I'm going to build the link here from the first lecture to the question following it, and then the link that takes you from that question back to the main menu. So first I'm going to go into lecture one, and I'm just going to adjust its link. And because I put things in order, it's easy to find that question. I also have notes that tell me what its title should be. And now I'm going to go into that question and edit its links. So the question should link back to the main menu, which is there. And in fact, this one is going to link back to the main menu whether the student answers it correctly or not. It will give them the feedback that I've put in before taking them there, but this is not being set up to give them a retry after feedback. I'm now, without showing you, going to build the rest of the links in these parts of the lesson because it's more of the same. Uh, and then I'm going to show you what's going on here in a little bit more detail. Okay, so I've now made almost all the links, and actually I changed my mind on how to do the links here. This is the question I showed you the building of the links for, and I changed it so that the correct answer will bring the student back to the main menu, but the incorrect ones will bring them back to the same page uh, so that they have to try again. And that's a good excuse for me to show you a preview of a question and show you the behavior. Um, so here is that question, and I'm just going to uh, select an incorrect answer, and you'll see it gives some feedback, tells, them, tells the student that that answer is wrong. If I hit continue, I'm right back at the question, right? So I can try another incorrect one, and once again, it gives feedback and tells you you're wrong. And if I want to go on, I need to figure out that that is the correct answer and it says yes that's correct and now i'm back at the main menu uh, yes. i just want to point out something that i tend to do here you see this lecture one why lessons and its link is to strengths of lesson tool which is the next page and i could have actually used the link next page to do that. I prefer not to do that. I prefer to explicitly link to the thing it's supposed to go to. And part of that is I find when I come back later and I'm editing a lesson, I'm less likely to end up with wrong links if I do it this way. So the remaining thing I'm going to show you in this video is what's going on over here where I have a question that's leading to a side trip. And so this is something that you might consider doing. So I've made this, it's actually not a question. It is just to show you how these side trips work. And so um, 
what I've got here is what I'm calling a right answer and a couple of wrong answers. And I'm going to, this answer one, the right answer will eventually lead to this content page, but that content page doesn't exist yet. So actually at the moment, I'm gonna link it back to the main menu uh, and I'll come back and fix that once I've made that content page. This is just so I can post this lesson somewhat incomplete and fill these parts in later. But now if the student, that's you, gives the wrong answer, I'm going to take them on a side trip. Okay, now of course I could just give uh, some detailed feedback in the response here instead of doing this, but if you want to give a lot of feedback or if you want to do something more complicated like send them off to a simpler question that you hope might help them see what their misconception is, then this is a useful idea to instead link them to somewhere else. So I'm just going to save that. And now I'm going to go into this side trip and this side trip is very simple. It's just going to be, you know, I would provide an explanation here or something. And then I would just send them back to the question. Or I could do something more complicated. This side trip could be a sequence of pages which eventually get back to the question. And so now this is all linked up and except that I haven't done this part, it's ready for me to post to Moodle. So I'm going to actually post it in this somewhat incomplete form and fill these parts in later.